Today I want to show you another steel. The steel is 3 kilowatt continuous reflux steel. Ah, here's a production. Production is about 2 liters, can be faster 2 liters per hour over 90% out of about 10% uh, wash. Here I've got the production. Here you can see the head fraction, the heads. Also we've got some water separated along with tails over here and some tails going down the drain. Now it's a small 3 kilowatt steel, it's technically two columns connected to each other divide 3 kilowatt by column about one and a half kilowatt per column now is the steel itself it's really tall it's really tall slightly shorter than my 10 kilowatt steels so i made this one this tall for purpose now here this particular section you can see the level of the alcohol within the head of the column it's ethyl alcohol section the upper section is for catching some heads and you can control them over here with this control valve uh, sorry it's that one up here it's a control valve to control the amount of heads you would like to cut and cut everything if you want now this particular valve ball valve for reflux control ratio and also for production speed control production flow you can make it run much faster but the percentage will suffer it's up up to the person whatever product required to be produced so someone would need a higher percentage alcohol someone would need maybe 75 percent alcohol just for some i don't know whiskey production again the construction is the same as my previous ones some changes though in this particular case I rebuild the bottom part of continuous shipping steel a little bit and adopted it for running reflux steel continuous reflux steel so everything from down here up there is a reflux steel and the bottom is made exactly the same as I do for continuous shipping steels so they're sharing the same steam generator and bottom section I added some preheater because I've been rebuilding really really old column it's really cold, old column I don't know how many years old the customer wanted me to convert it into another type of steel so I did it now what we've got here down here on the left hand side is a wash supply tube this transparent one the second one at the bottom to the right it's a waste going to the drain now i've got some leakage from under the seal it's not a problem of the steel it's problem of the seal probably seal would need to be replaced at some point this column on its side on the side of the steel is for water separation and the first phase first, first stage is uh, making some stripping around and all stripped alcohol actually getting condensed over here the first first stage um, and everything that heavier than alcohol actually condensed over here and it's water, water entails. The alcohol actually continues up the, up the column into this head. 
and over here the alcohol is condensed but the temperature in this particular section is higher than the temperature of the head condensation so they proceeding up they rising up to the final condenser catcher and they condensed over there it's the coolest place of the column over here and they separating from the main floor you can return some in form of reflux if you need just to make sure that the only highest boiling volatile fraction will uh, get up to this particular section up here and then it's proceeding down through this particular condenser and also we have breathing device over here that breathe uh, helping the column to breathe and it's running at atmospheric pressure so this bypasses no pressure build up inside something like that still is running while we're talking it's running it's producing Here, good pump. And here's a sugar based wash right now. And this plastic drum. So it's going down the pump. And it's pumped up to the column from the bottom. It doesn't mean it's going through the bottom, you know, it's just filling up the column. It's quite a complex thing. Uh, there's a number of heat exchangers and the wash actually getting preheated by the waste empty wash that going down the drain so it just picks up all the temperature something like that just try to make it as efficient as possible so this is it We'll be happy to answer any questions if you've got about this if you have any questions about this particular column i'll answer also this is this video is for a person who awaits for this column for quite a long time but i was really really busy i had so many things to do anyway it's finished it's tested it's running well stable with no problems thank you very much